Uh, hello and welcome to this demonstration. Uh, this demonstration is also about format string vulnerabilities. Uh, we will look at a code um, which is present in this uh, VM that we ship along with this course. Uh, the code is present in NPTEL codes module 6. Uh, you can look it up at file called print uh, 3a.c. This code is very similar to what we have seen before. Uh, essentially there is a global variable s uh, and what we do intend to do is to use the vulnerability in the printf which is present here um, and be able to modify s. So note that s uh, is a global variable so therefore it by default would be initialized to 0. So without any vulnerabilities or without exploiting the vulnerability this program when uh, this printf executes would print s to be equal to 0 here. However, what we will do is that we are going to change the user string and note that this user string is specified as a, a format specifier in printf. So, we are going to modify this user string so that the value of s uh, is not 0 or rather uh, we will try to change the value of s to something different. So, uh, let us uh, see it running first. Uh, we make the program as before, make clean, sorry, make clean and then make and then run it as print 3a and note that this 60 corresponds to s. To make it more clearer what we can do is print 3a.c and just specify that S is equal to thing. So it is now print three A. You see that S is equal to sixty. So what has happened is that the value of S, or which is supposed to be zero, has been modified due to the vulnerability present in printf, and has obtained a value of sixty. So let's open the code. Um, in a different window like this and uh, and we will also look at GDB and see exactly what is happening. Okay. So, we have put a breakpoint uh, at the start of this line and uh, we will note a few values over here. First is uh, let us disassemble it and note that uh, the call to printf that is this printf user underscore string uh, is present at this location and the adjacent location 0804850c is the return address uh, from printf. The next thing we would look at is uh, the address of this global variable s and that we obtain by this p slash x ampersand s and we note that it has a value of uh, 0804a028 which is essentially this one 0804a028 arranged in little Indian notation. Now, if we uh, look at this particular into user underscore string, so what we see is that it has the address of uh, the global variable s present initially. Second, we have a format attribute percentage 54x which is present here, which essentially means that uh, there is 54 uh, values that may be printed and then we have percentage 6 dollar n. So, the dollar $n indicates that at the location specified by an argument, the number of characters that printf has printed would be filled. So, what we do intend to do is that we want to modify s with the number of characters that has been printed. So, let us see over here. So, uh, 
each of this corresponds to a one character. Uh, so, it is four uh, characters that are printed uh, by this. So, one, one for each of these bytes. Then there is a space over here, so 5 uh, and another space over here, 6 plus uh, 54. So, it is a total of 60 characters that gets printed. So, what we do expect is that when uh, printf executes this uh, percentage n, it fills in the value of s with 60 and uh, this we can see as follows. So, um, so we have uh, got the value of s and we also have got the value of the return uh, from the printf that is uh, at the address 0804850c. And now we we'll let we will just uh, single step through a couple of instructions. Uh, we enter the printf at plt and finally into the printf function. At this point we will look at the stack and print the contents of some of the contents of the stack which would look something like this. So, the first thing you would note is that uh, the return address 0804850c is uh, present over here and the address of user string which is fffcf48 is 1 uh, before that ok. And other thing we note is that at a location 6 words from this first argument to print f at an offset of uh, 6 words from the first argument to print f is uh, this user string 0804A028. So, what happens is that uh, print f would first print these four characters, then it would print the space, uh, it would leave 54 words and then it would actually print another space. Now, when it comes over here, we have that the address of s is present. So, because of the percentage n that is uh, in the format specifier and printf would go to this address and fill in it the contents of the number of characters that has been printed in which case 60. So, thus when printf completes execution we have s that has the value of 60 in it and therefore, when we continue this particular execution we see that s would get a value of 60. Now, uh, note that every time you compile this particular program there may be slight differences in the address of s uh, and uh, other minor differences in the uh, address of user string and so on. Therefore, even though the source code is given to you, uh, it would be good to actually use GDB, uh, identify the exact locations of s, modify the programs accordingly and then execute it in order to get it to work. Thank you.